Fire officials in Orion Township, Michigan say a condominium complex building exploded on Tuesday night. Orion Township Fire Chief Ryan Allen told reporters that two people were brought to hospitals with critical injuries, and at least two more people have minor injuries. Allen said the cause of the explosion was not immediately known. At this time, initial reports say that it's possibly or probably a gas leak that caused an explosion. We're not sure. We haven't confirmed any of that, but that's what the initial looks like," he said. Allen also said that firefighters were waiting to enter the building to determine the cause of the explosion. We're putting out some spot fires and then we'll be able to get some additional information to you at a later time once we've been able to search that building. But as of right now, we've not been able to search building that exploded because it's been deemed unsafe and we have to get the gas leak under control first. Allen added that the blast damaged additional buildings. It's one building that exploded. It did cause damage, significant damage to one other building. And it looks like minor damage to two or three other buildings. He said there are buildings in the immediate vicinity had been checked and deemed safe. He said buses are taking residents of buildings that are considered questionable to a separate location. Crews have been battling a wildfire in Hainesport, in southern New Jersey, on Monday night. The New Jersey Forest Fire Service reported that approximately 20 structures have been threatened as crews work to contain the blaze. We don't expect the fire to grow much beyond 40 to 45 acres. At this time, no structures have been damaged, said Bill Donnelly from the New Jersey Forest Fire Service. Donnelly said on Monday night that there had been no evacuations or injuries. He also said he cause of the fire was under investigation. Right now we have roughly 40 acres of wildland involved. Um, our folks received a call from Burlington County Central a couple hours ago um, with the Haynesport Fire Department requesting some assistance out here for a wildland fire they have here in this area. So currently we have um, approximately 20 structures threatened. Uh, crews are in the process of trying to contain the fire. They're doing so by means of using uh, a bulldozer and using some natural barriers as you see here this asphalt and stuff like that so we have approximately 20 firefighters six of our engines and numerous uh, engines from our partners the local fire departments here throughout the county 
So currently, uh, we don't anticipate the fire to grow much more than uh, somewhere in that area between 40 and 45 acres. And um, at this time, there have been no structures damaged. Uh, we do have a couple road closures. Um, there have been no evacuations, no one has been injured, and the cause of the fire is under investigation. Okay. Right now, some of the challenges we're facing is just hard access. This area here has got a lot of ups and downs, if you will. It's got some sand pits in it. It's behind homes, which is always a challenge. Um, you know, going right in the back of people's houses, getting our equipment in there, um, and just obstacles that you're not familiar with when you're running around in people's yards. This fire is going to continue to smolder. Uh, fortunately, it looks like we have rain in the forecast coming Wednesday night and Thursday. That's what it's going to take to put this fire out. Are you going to take a fun video of, like, my fire? Very scary. Um, I just never would thought this would ever happen. We've lived here for 20 years, and... We've been very fortunate to not have any sort of fires in our backyard, so they're doing a fantastic job controlling it.